A while ago, I started a legacy family and our first generation lived in Lucky Palms. Lucky Palms is a Sims 3 store world, but it also came with a casino and the gambling skill, which I never knew about. Obviously with gambling, you're gonna be losing money at the start of it, but as you progressed up the skill, I found that my sim kept coming home with quite a lot of money. And you know I love a regs to riches, so I want to try it with the gambling skill today. I think this one's going to be quite hard at the start and then all of a sudden get really easy. But we don't really know, do we? Because the house always wins and I am not the house. I won't even have a house. We'll be living in an empty lot. So here's our sim for this cash money. <laughs> and I've made this quite difficult for myself. I've turned him into a slob that is unlucky. He's a party animal, hot-headed and mean-spirited. And I think it's unlucky that's going to cause us our biggest problems. We have no money whatsoever, so I am going to have to find some kind of collectible so that we can actually afford to spend some money. Fortunately, I see this over here and it doesn't look great, but I, I could definitely do with something to sell. Right, that sells for 41. That should be enough to get us started, I think. I'm not really 100% sure. But the casino is over here. It's the Lucky Somalian Casino. Not the most creative name in the world, but why does it have to be? Let it live. Can I use my 41 Somalians here? Is that enough? Okay, no. <laughs> Not even enough for a low stakes game. Okay. Where do collectibles come in this world? I don't really know anything about it. Hold on. The wishing well. That's not where collectibles appear. I'm just saying you can steal coins from here. I mean, I could steal coins from around the outside of it, but I'm going to get him to go in there because that's more fun. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Cash couldn't find anything good and got soggy in the process. All right, that's the third time he's fallen in. Being unlucky probably doesn't help. I can't find a thing, and now he stinks. Okay, I'm having absolutely zero luck with this wishing well. I think I've done it like 20 times, and he hasn't found a thing. Come on, someone let me use a collectible or anything. Can I? Oh, apples. Apples are my way to success. I also need to get inside pretty soon because I'm sweating profusely, and I need a shower because I stink. Right, sell those four apples. We've got 57 Somalians now. Is there a shower at the casino? There's a pool. I can just bathe in the pool. I'm just going to use the toilet here and wash my hands a lot. Just enough so that I don't stink so bad, so that I'll be allowed on the casino floor, do you know what I mean? Let's play slots. Just low stakes. I can't afford anything else. Oh, this guy's raking it in. Go steal those coins. Actually, do you know what? That looks like a hot machine right now. I need you to get out of the way, Omar. I'm playing on it. Oh, wow. Rude introduction. Get out of the way. Hurry as well, because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> That's why I'm introducing myself rudely. I'm hungry, okay? Step aside. Now I'm back on my seven Somalian grind. Things are not going great, but we're going to see what happens anyway. So I do build gambling skill really quickly. Oh, but hang on. I'm losing. <laughs> Ever get that feeling that everybody is winning but you? Absolutely. I've just seen another person win a jackpot over here. Oh, <laughs> get rid of that moodle. I'm doing great. There's a hundred civilians there. There we go. Cash has just improved his gambling skill to level one. I actually think we could end quite a lot from this, you know. And if we do, I'm still going to try and build a bit of a house so that he can just survive generally. But if we earn enough, I could probably move into one of the houses around here. This one's empty and it costs, okay, 215,000. I, I have a feeling I won't be going to that one. This is the one that I used in my Gen 1 Legacy family. That's 75. That's not too bad. And I know for a fact there's one over here. This one is worth 106,000. So if it goes well, I'm not saying it will. It might just end up having to live in the shit little house we make. But if it goes well, we could move there. Uh, but this is not going well because now I've got a cold slot machine. The cooler strikes again. And I'm feeling unlucky. <laughs> Leave that slot machine. It's not worth it. Oh, we just won something there. Make it rain. Monet's family just gained 145 simoleons thanks to their slot machine. I hate the wording. That is not my slot machine. I didn't bring that from home. It's in the casino. All right. Well, uh, my needs are pretty bad. I'm going to have to find a place to eat, shower and sleep. And you know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to the gym. I love the gym during Rags to Riches because it's the only place I can keep myself alive. Where is the gym? I bet I'm looking straight at it and I can't see it. It's there. <laughs> I was. So that's the gents. So let's go to the toilet. Let's have a shower. There is a hot tub out here. There's three hot tubs out here. It's pretty cool. It's really dark out here though, but what can you do? He wants to buy a bed. I'll lock that in. We will at some point. Just probably not now. Oh, I could afford a sleeping bag. I'm going to do it. I know I don't need the sleeping bag right now and I could sleep on those sun lounges, but I'm more doing this for the aspiration points. And I love sleeping outside. I'm a big fan. I will be going back to the casino tomorrow, but my unlucky mood look will still be there. So maybe it's better if I wait, actually. I didn't think about food. Like, I was just going to say I could go to the diner, but I've got 52 simoleons, which is just enough to play low stakes slots, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with it. Let's just get some sleep. There's nothing more comfortable than a public gym floor. So let's sleep here. Oh, no, where do you want to go? <laughs> you decide, then. Next to the pool. All right. Oh, yeah, I gave him really ripped clothes because I wanted him to seem extra homeless. 
He's still asleep, but I need to find a place to eat. Oh, actually, I didn't even think about this. I could just steal from this garden again and just eat my own food all the time. So that'll take food out of the equation, which will make things a lot easier. I think a lot of that stuff in the garden had grown already as well. I'm just going to let you get a full night's sleep. What am I rushing for? I'm just trying to piss away all my money on the slots. You want to go to the summer festival? Why not? You want to meet someone new? Again, why not? Should we actually use this time to check what the lifetime rewards are? Because if it's not worth it, I won't do these anymore, but... <laughs> ah, here we go. So if I can get to 20,000 lifetime reward points, I can choose the midlife crisis reward. So if I manage that, I'm going to change my unlucky trait to the lucky trait. And before anyone says, oh, but just cheat. No. <laughs> Stop being such a cheater. We don't cheat during Rex to Riches. We just cheat in every other playthrough. Oh, I was too hungry to tend the garden. So now I do need to worry about food. Um... Where can I eat? It's like a mushroom on the floor or anything. Do not advise to do that at home, by the way. But if there is, I'm going to eat it. I mean, I could dumpster that. Do you know what? I'm just going to go to someone's house. <laughs> I'm trying too hard here. Who's just, who's in? I don't really care. No one's in that house. Ugh, does everyone have real jobs? Why can't I go to anyone's house? Just gamble for money like a normal person. Not a single sim. Oh, there's a car here. Visit the lovers household. They've just left the cars. Great for the environment, but not great for me. Give me one minute. I'm just going to look for any collectible I can find. Oh, actually, is this open? Oh, yes, there's a fridge. I'm going so far out of my way just to get to this place, but it's going to be worth it just so that I can garden. I can't believe I'm doing all this so I can pick a fucking apple. Oh, yeah, this is the place to be. The casino is the place to be, actually. What a weird combination of music. I've gone past some, like, dark trance to kids' music. Oh, she's pregnant. She's just... That was for her baby inside of her. Sorry for judging too quickly. Good. Eaten. Finally. <laughs> Maybe the unlucky trait will be gone by the time I actually go to the casino because this has taken forever. Harvest this stuff from the garden. I don't care how hungry you get. We're just going to do it. You're probably going to need a shower after this. Again, I don't care. You're just going to have to gamble. Smelly. Oh, is someone already winning? No, no one's here. Okay. I fancy some blackjack today. Oh, wait. Hang on. Can I even afford that? No. <laughs> the first one I saw was the 10,000 buy-in. I was like, oh, shit. All right, we're going to have to go low stakes. We'll use a different slot machine. Hopefully, we start to get some real cash. Actually, I'm not too bothered about the cash right now, as long as I can keep around 50. What I really want is to improve my gambling skill. And we're already level two. Oh, he's losing again, though. Everyone has... I mean, other than me, who's kicking the machine. Everyone has such a good time during this. Oh, probably because they're winning all the time, for fuck's sake. Um... Hold on. Hey, Mariana. How you doing, girl? <laughs> he wants to meet someone new. And I'm not scared of flirting with someone with a good gambling skill yet. I mean, what have I got? 55 Somalians. I had five whole Somalians. Oh, she got the ultimate jackpot as well. I'm definitely introducing myself to yet. And using that machine. I know in real life it wouldn't pay out after a jackpot like that. But hopefully it does in the game because I'm playing on it. Please excuse me, Mariana. I just wanted to say hello so that you knew who I was for the future when we get rich together. Oh, cash money just hit a jackpot of 1,000 Somalians. Thank fuck. We have been struggling. Right, stop for now. Oh, wait, it's a hot slot machine. Keep going, keep going. Let's play high stakes, which I'm a bit scared of. He's not going to be able to do this for long because he does need a wee soon. But this could get us so close to the big house we want. Never mind, he needs a wee. He got 300 Somalians back and apparently he's happy about that. That's what he started with. Go to the toilet. Let's head home. I can afford a wall with a shower. It's not ideal. I mean, I could also get a fridge, but we've got the food in our inventory, so I'm not too worried about that. But this is nice. This is a really good start. Most of my extra riches are just me tearing my hair out at the very start, or at least this way. I'm only kind of annoyed by how slow it is. <laughs> Do you know what? You deserve to relax, Cash. Get yourself a bath. And, and I don't want to spoil the guy, but get some candles on. Really relax. You're doing great here. <laughs> I'm really, really glad for you. Oh, wouldn't that just feel so nice? A boiling hot bath in the middle of the boiling hot desert when you've got no money and every single person in your neighborhood could see it because all the windows in this town are so big. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I have enjoyed Mariana's company today. I'm going to send you a couple of texts. I'll send five friendly texts in a row. You should never have given me a number. I'm going to be that creep. And I'll also send a secret admirer text. I imagine Cash to be quite a sleazeball, so I'm playing into that now. Oh, fuck's sake. Again, the social media skill. I didn't want that. Just go to sleep. Actually, one apple, then bed. Why is this car here? Should I be worried? Because this is usually a sign that something's going to crash. <laughs> Not the car. Obviously, it's stationary. But I mean the game. Mm, I'm going to leave it there for now. I quite like it. I'm kind of bored of being asleep, so let's just get up. I fancy playing some blackjack today. I'll only do the 100 buy-in because it's all I can afford. Oh, but this gives you different options. I forgot about this. So if I go for moderate, I can take medium risk for medium rewards. So conservative, so taking smaller risks for smaller rewards. Aggressive to take larger risks, hoping for larger rewards. 
or count cards. So attempt to count cards and score more consecutive wins. Obviously. <laughs> Why would I not count cards? Come on, Cash, you've got this. I'm losing. <laughs> Although, to be fair, whenever it says I'm on a losing streak, I end up doing quite well regardless. So maybe it doesn't matter. What happens if I get caught? I didn't think about that. If I get banned from this, can I just never use the casino again? <laughs> Let's take some large risks instead, because I'm scared I'm going to get kicked out the casino and never be allowed back. That would really ruin this video. So I've gone up to gambling level four already, but this doesn't raise the gambling skill as much as the slot machine does. And I'm only 10 simoleons up. Screw this. It's been an absolute pleasure, but I'm out. That's boring. Oh, wait, uh, with the odds most definitely in his favor, Cash beat the house and walked away with 40 simoleons more than he started with. Not great, but I'll take it. Eat this apple and then get on this slot machine. We're playing high stakes. I'm ready to move on up in the world. It's not even been that long, but I am ready to move on up. Did I just win a jackpot straight away? I've got 878 available funds. <laughs> This is great. I am going to get so rich from this. Maybe. He hasn't won anything since. Oh, it's a cold slot machine. Right, leave that one. Let's try this. Yeah, overall, I got 678. So I lost a lot of what I won the first time. But is Mariana here? Because I miss her. I want to take her out on a date soon when I can afford to. I am a fan of the casino being open 24 hours, to be fair. Actually, I probably could have afforded a bed. I don't know why I slept on the floor all night, but whatever, I've done it now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the fact it's open 24 hours is really helpful. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat and take a bath because I don't want to be smelly for this because I'm going to ask Mariana out on a date. We don't, we're not actually that close, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'll just invite her out, but I'm going to go to the summer festival since that's a one and then I should get some extra ones there so I'll be able to change my traits to lucky. I don't even know if this applies to the gambling skill. You'd think it would, but I don't know if that's how it works. What do you think, Mariana? Do you want to go on a date with a man with ripped jeans? She's about to head out and call back in seven hours for me. Can I raise my social by just texting? Because I might just gamble all day and then go see her tonight. And maybe I'll have a bit more money to take her out to a fancy restaurant, you know? Oh, it does raise social. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing that. Paul last, she just was like, oh, I'm at work, I can't talk right now. So I'm like, okay, let me send you 20 texts in a row. It really did not do much for my social. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you here? Does this look like a public place to you? I'm going to talk to you anyway, because you're kind of cute. Oh, I actually do like her. Do you want to go to the summer festival with me? What's your sign? Oh, no, you're single. I just need to know. Oh, what's this? Find out if Lola is rich or not. Your sim wants to know about the personal wealth of someone else. Converse with potentially rich neighbors or visit their homes to find out. Did I say neighbors wrong then? I feel like I was concentrating more on the last word than I was the, <laughs> the word neighbors. Ah, oh, she loves a slob. She does not care that I live in a field or that my jeans are ripped to shreds. Ah, oh, I've used the same interaction too many times. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will apologize even though I don't really care about you. Oh, I do care a bit though because I want to kiss her. Either way, I know where she lives now, so I might go see her afterwards. That sounds very creepy, but I meant because he wants to find out if she's rich or not. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time for high stakes. What's this one? The lucky coin stakes. So get a lucky coin from the wishing well to play lucky coin stakes. All right. <laughs> I mean, I might as well try it again. I tried about 20 times last time, but let's try it this time. Steal coins or do I wish for something? Um... I want to wish for wealth, but I feel like that's not the aim of this playthrough. Actually, I'm going to go wish for power. I don't know what it means, but I'm going to wish for it. Cash wished hard, but nothing special seems to happen. Okay, but let's uh, let's just steal coins then and see if we can get a lucky coin. Was it a lucky coin or a golden coin? I don't remember. Oh, oh, <laughs> Cash found a lucky coin in the wishing well. And now I've got incoming aces. So a lucky coin brings lucky aces. So I can sell it for 1,500, but I want to use it in that machine. Kind of worried for how easy this is going to make it, but <laughs> but I'm willing to try anyway. Here we go. Lucky coin stakes. So I'm not really losing any money here, but I am unlucky at the same time as having the incoming aces thing. So I'm hoping they don't count for each other. Go on, get it in there. It didn't even fit in the slot, but fine. Oh, <laughs> How much am I just... 7,500 simoleons by using the lucky coin. No way. It's a hot slot machine. Right, we're doing high stakes. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, uh, and look. I mean, I've won again. <laughs> I'm level five with the gambling skill. And Lola's here. Everything is going my way in this playthrough. It wasn't nice at the start, but it also wasn't as hard as usual. And now it's going really well. Jeez, and I just got another two grand. I got 10 grand after one day. <laughs> That was good. I am very happy with that. Go to the toilet, wash your hands because don't be a dirty pig. Eat an apple and then let's ask Lola out on a date. We have the money for it, girl. I'm going to treat you right. Oops, I said goodbye. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I wasn't done. Sorry, I got confused. I've been learning Italian in my spare time, so I said ciao, which means hello and goodbye. Right, ask out on date. Please say yes this time. No. Why? 
I'm too tired to hang out right now. Maybe later after I've had some rest. Okay, do you know what? I appreciate your honesty, but I am starting to feel a bit ill. Sick of your shit, Lola. I mean, she's still letting me do all these things, even though she said she's too tired to go out. But she's missed out on a whirlwind night. I would be splashing my cash all over the shop. I might just turn into a bit of a ladies man, since I can. And all ladies men leap into the arms of their women. <laughs> Catch me! I'm quite a large guy, so <laughs> you're very strong. I'm gonna try for my first kiss. It might be too soon, and she might be too tired to even like it, but I really want to spread this disease I've got. Not an STD. I don't know why I did the closed brackets either. Not an STD. Cash line that Lola is a great kisser. Brilliant. I'm off. Actually, do I need to be off? I just sleep here. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. I have the ability to buy a bed now. In fact, I have the ability to build a full fucking house if I wanted to. So I want to see if I can get rich. And move into one of the good houses now. Let's pay our bills. I bet it's po six simoleons. Pocket change. This money's gone straight to my head and I'm not even gen- I'm really not even that rich. There you have it. I don't want to spend too much money. I've become one of those people who earn a lot of money and then become really conservative with it. Instead of treating your mates. Hint, hint to any of my rich mates out there. But this is more like become the base of operations for us just earning enough to move into one of the good houses, I guess. I also want Lola to be my wife and I want us to have a kid. So I think that'd be quite nice. But I don't want to look after the kids, so I'm going to get Lola pregnant while she's not in my family so she can deal with it until we move in together when I treat her to a nice house. So there's a nice trade-off there, okay? Don't get mad at me for being misogynistic it sounded very misogynistic. <laughs> and I'm, I'm aware of that and I'm sorry. Actually, Lola, can I invite you out somewhere? Ask out on date. Let's do it today rather than doing it tonight. I did just eat though. Whatever. I've still not been to the summer festival, so <laughs> I'm going to take her there if she's free. She might be at work. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. This is good. Mariana, you've missed out, girl. I'm telling you. You could have led the good life with a mean-spirited, quite unstable man who relies on a very unstable form of income. I finally got to the summer festival. I want to take a greeting card picture. I want to have my face painted. I'm doing all these things and spreading diseases at the same time. He's just coughing away over there. I should probably wait for Lola to turn up. <laughs> Actually, before I go and get my face painted. Oh, shit. She just saw you cough. Okay, here. Like, you can have my disease. Again, it's just a cold. It's not an STD. There you go. Kissed it right into your mouth. Let me get my first painted then. I don't remember how. Let's take a picture together. Oh, it's there. Sorry, that's the first paint. I want to be... It's 50 civilians, but I'm, I'm in the big books now anyway. Whimsical. That's me. <laughs> See you, Lola. Sorry, this date isn't about us. It's about me getting my first painted. I actually just heard her sneeze. I think she is sick. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, Lola, I can't see if you're sneezing on there, can I? I can see you falling over. You're terrible at skating. Oh, beautiful. Now, where can I get a greeting card picture taken? Where's the stand for it? There. Lola, will you come in this one with me? Yes, she will. I'm going to send this out at Christmas. It's far too early. It's our first date, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, I can share it to Facebook. Brilliant. I'm going to zoom in on that. It does not look very couple-y. And also, she's really, that power pose has really made me look quite insecure. Greetings from the Monet family. Is that too soon? It feels a bit too soon. Whatever. She's in it now. She's stuck. Now, Lola, how against a date at the casino are you? Because I fancy one. I'm taking this to the casino. I don't care. <laughs> as long as she has fun while we're there, then she should be all right. Come and watch me play slots. High stakes though, so I can impress you. Can I ask her to join? Is that a thing? No, but I think she is actually going to go play anywhere. Yeah, good. If you win, you've got to give it to me because that's the rules of the date, okay? Watch her hit a jackpot first time. Oh, she did win something though. <laughs> give me it. This is the kind of date you want to see. Oh, she actually did win the jackpot for fuck's sake. <laughs> Twice! Oh, my available funds on this, though. I'm gambling level six now, and I think I just won five grand. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, I love this. I am never sending my Sims to work ever again. Oh, she's gone. It's hard to imagine that date going any better. Playful banter gave way to gazing into each other's eyes, and oh my, where did the time go? <laughs> I'm done, and overall I am 11,500 simoleons. Can I move into a house now? Like a starter house? I broke that toilet, but I don't give a shit. I'll just replace it. Let's move within this neighborhood. Where can I live? There's a house over here, Landlubber's Loft. I wish I wasn't doing this in the dark, but whatever. There is this house here, but this is the same house I used in my Generation 1 Legacy. I don't really want to use that again, but I might have to. I also used this house in my Gen 1 Legacy, so <laughs> either way, it's not going to be new to me. Uh, that 70s house is where I lived in before. Oh, the house that I wanted before. Has someone moved into it? Hold on. Sorry, I'm mad. I'm not going to move yet because I'm too mad. Has someone moved into the house that I liked? Oh, you wang. <laughs> Get out of there. That's mine. You know I hate to do it, but I have kicked them out of that house, so <laughs> it's mine now. I'll go off camera for the rest of the night. I'm just going to keep playing high stakes slots, and I will see you tomorrow, because I'm already one fifth of the way to the house that I want, so <laughs> things are going well.
In fact, I actually might go get a lucky coin tomorrow. So yeah, my sleeping pattern has completely flipped around on itself, but I've got someone repairing my bath for me, so that's good. I still have some food left, so I can eat that. And I'm going to go and get a lucky coin, hopefully. All of my wants now are to go on dates with Lola and kiss Lola and find out if she's rich. So actually, I'm going to get a coin and then see if she's rich. All right, well, straight back into falling in there. I guess this is going to take a while. <laughs> Give me a second. So whenever he leans in, it means he's not going to get anything. But if he doesn't lean in, which he has every single time now. All right, yeah, well, I got a lucky coin at least. It's fine. I'm going to hold on to it. But let's go find Lola's house. It shouldn't be hard. I don't really know anyone. That's their house. It looks weird. It is weird and I love it. Is it meant to be like an old cinema or something? Lola is out of the park. Can you tell her not to be? <laughs> Get home. I want to see your house. It looks so strange. Oh, it is. It's an old cinema. That is so cool. I mean, this is what I love about The Sims 3. I feel like they do a really good job of making worlds feel a bit more interesting. But if I can't see Lola now, I'm not going to shower. There's no point. I'm going to go use my lucky coin. Oh, I only got 568 simoleons. I should have just sold the coin. Play some high stakes. I am gambling level 7 now, so things are going quite well. So we've won 32,000 and lost nearly 2. Okay, again, another almost 2,000. Is anyone back at the Lancaster house now? Yes, they are. Is Lola in? Yes, she is. Brilliant. You're going to get pregnant. <laughs> Um, does this belong to anyone? Bettina? I swear to God, if that's Lola's baby, I am going to kick off because when did you get pregnant? I'm so excited to see inside. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Yeah, it is like an old cinema because I swear when I was looking through the window, you could see like this. Oh God, is it literally... Did you have that baby? When did you have a child and why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? I'm not going to lie though, girl. You lost that baby weight fast and also you never put that baby weight on, which is also quite concerning. Let me be a good person. I'm going to buy your baby a crib. I might not be the dad, but I will be the dad that steps up. Now I don't have to get you pregnant, but I kind of want to. <laughs> Just for fun. Let me ask if I can stay over because it is 1am, so she's going to kick me out soon. Yeah, she's going to. I stink, so I'm sorry for getting this close to you, but she's going to let me do it. I don't even care that you cheated on me. Oh, I learned that she didn't have a whole lot of money. Well, at least I found out. <laughs> that was all he wanted to know, whether she did have money or not. Now, you can be my girlfriend if you want. I'm not just assuming you'll say yes. For an unlucky guy who's always feeling unlucky, things are really going as well. Do you also want to have a baby? It might be too soon. Of course it's not too soon. <laughs> she popped that baby out with no issue, so why would you not just do it again? I promise I'll shower after this. And also get changed into jeans that aren't ripped soon too. Come on then. Let's have a second kid. At least this one will be mine. Now I understand why she had a baby last time, because she is so fertile. I barely lasted a bloody minute there, and she's already pregnant. This is nice, though. Actually preparing my own food. I can hear that baby crying, though, Lola. Are you going to look after it? Wake up! <laughs> You're a terrible mother. Am I going to have to deal with this? It's not even my kid. Hold on, baby. I am coming. I just bent some waffles, so I won't be a minute. Here you go. Your mum's not going to do it, but I will. Bettina, though. What a lovely, lovely name. Is that what Betty's short for? Have I just never known what Betty meant? This feels weird because it's not my kid, so I'm just going to put you back in your crib. I've looked after you enough. I need to go and eat my bent food, for starters, which is going to taste like shite. And then I need to head back to the casino. Daddy's got work. Actually, I'm not going to call myself daddy to that kid because it's not mine. <laughs> I've already forgotten whose kid that is. I think every morning, even though I've just got a shower, I'm going to try and get a lucky coin and earn money that way. And we're going to move into the nice house. Oh, I think I did it. I did. Great. You can you can stop digging for coins now. All right. Well, my hygiene's right to the bottom again, but I don't care. Let's do it. Lucky coin stakes. The first time I did this, did I get, I think I got seven and a half grand, didn't I? So hopefully this time I earn more. Well, I don't know if that's like the max jackpot or not, but it'd be cool if it's, if I can get more from it. Ah, oh, 996 simoleons. That's rubbish. What if I play high stakes blackjack? I do the 10,000 simoleon buy-in and play aggressively. I'm actually kind of worried for what this is going to do. This might just take us a massive step back, but whatever. Oh, I'm losing. Count cards. Just cheat. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Cheat. Oh, look at that. I've lost three and a half grand already. Oh, I just won something. And so did he. He's doing better than I did. Oh, there's a freezer bunny one. Is it because I was using a different machine? There isn't a freezer bunny on this one. So I'm thinking that there's a bigger jackpot in that. Or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, so though money can't buy happiness, Cash learned firsthand that losing money also can't buy happiness. He just lost 2,500 simoleons playing blackjack. Better luck next time. I tried. I did. I break that toilet every time I come here. Okay, I'm going to go off camera for a little bit. I'm just going to earn some money. And I want to use these freezer bunny ones. If anything crazy happens, I will let you know. But for now, I'll be back shortly. I've gambled until he physically couldn't do it anymore. And now we're at 49,000. <laughs> His needs are awful. 
but we have gone so far so quickly. So I don't want this to get too repetitive. So what I'm going to do is take Lola out on a date because he wants to do that and he wants to give her a little kiss, which I think is quite nice. I also want to see her tomorrow rather than today to see if she's pregnant. And then I'm going to go off camera and just use some lucky coins to try and win money and we'll see how it goes. I'm just doing a little bit of gambling before I go and meet Lola. I've already won like 15 grand from using the lucky coin and from the fact that we're now gambling level nine. The skill goes up really quickly and we finally have a new moodlet. You are winning! <laughs> <laughs> and we just won another five grand. Lola, you're about to have the best day of your life, girl. Maybe. I'll probably just take her to the restaurant or something. But uh, judging by the fact that she's a single mother who lives in an old movie theater, she can't be doing great. She hasn't been to a fancy restaurant in a while, you know? Okay, I started losing, so let's just take Lola out. We'll go to the fancy restaurant all the way over here. The Blooming Cactus Bistro sounds like a cool place, if you ask me. She said that sounds like fun. Does she not have a job? I know I don't have a job, but I just feel like she's never busy. <laughs> don't you have a kid to look after, for starters? And I think it's not the most romantic place, but this town isn't all that romantic when you look at it. Actually, do you know what? There is something kind of romantic about this place. I take it all back. I'm going to propose to her along this river, just over here somewhere. That'd be nice. If she ever turns up, I'm just stood in the car park waiting for her. There she is. Oh, do you have a big breakfast to summit? You're already waddling. You spot your appetite, Lola. Right, I've given her a kiss. That was a one. Let's go and eat here with my dirt. Am I making her pay? Because that was 50 simoleons. <laughs> Oh, I've changed this to my formal wear, and my formal wear is also very country. So don't worry, I'm still a country boy at heart. Always will be. And that's your formal wear. Okay. Don't make an effort if you don't want to, Lola. Don't worry about it. That was delicious. The sun is setting. We're in our best outfits, apparently. I think it's time to propose. Let's go here. She's over there. All right, what are you, what are you doing? Receive flowers. Oh, lols. That's so cute. I'm not saying lols in like a weird early 2000s way. It was my nickname for Lola, but I didn't like it as soon as I said it. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Let me compliment your appearance, even though it goes against my nature to do that, apparently. Oh, I've got to be quick. The sun's already setting. Oh, well, doing it by moonlight is just as cool. We've got the view of the town over there. All the lights on. This is good enough. She finds me extremely irresistible. Let's propose marriage. Oh, great. My phone's ringing during. <laughs> Put it on silent, man. Jesus. Oh, the moment's kind of spoiled, but I'm glad that you're happy about it. Yeah. Now, sorry, I've got to take this. <laughs> Congratulations, Cash and Lola are now engaged. Good. Uh, Lola, is this you on the phone? How are you calling me? They're telling me to go to Egypt and disable a trap. Lola, do you have a headset in? I can't see you talking at all. Anyway, my needs are still good. I'm going to go off camera one last time. I think I'm going to be able to hit that 106k, so I will see you very soon. Oh, okay. I'm making a load of money here, but Cash is now the father of a new baby girl. Lola just gave birth to a baby girl, stop telling me that, named Leanne. Oh, we've got little baby Leanne and Bettina. Beautiful names. Now I want to get married. I can do that. Well, I reached gambling level 10. I'm just going to sit back and let you see how much he wins now. Hold on. Sorry. Someone's got a broken TV and they want me to fix it. Um, <laughs> but it's literally just constant. It's just winning and winning. It always says he's losing, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't mean anything. Well, we've managed to move into our cool modern house. I've managed to also get Lola and the kids to move in with us. I have just found out doing that, that she is dating someone called Richard Erwin. Um, I don't really know what to do about that one. But come on, let's get the kids in bed, shall we? Because why do we just have them outside? <laughs> What's happened? Why? We're such bad parents already. So we're going to throw them a little wedding party. I probably won't invite you, Richard, if that's okay, because you actually like my fiance more than I do. But I don't really know anyone, so I'm just inviting everyone that she does. Kind of sad, but what can you do? Oh, this just shows that I don't play with families enough in this game because they've got the wedding day moodlet and I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Sims love to celebrate this incredibly important day with a party. Just make sure everything goes to plan. There isn't too much that I need to go to plan. I'm just waiting for guests to turn up so that we can finally get married, you know? We've been together for like five days. We need to get, get a move on. Oh, is that your formal wear? Okay. <laughs> Fine, if that's what you want to get married in, that's what you get married in. But let's just do it. Let's get this over with. Because this has been not as awful as I thought it was going to be, but it has still been quite long. I've been recording for a long time for this video, considering it looks like it's been easy. Oh, I like that. The minute I say let's go to the altar, I realise that I'm attracted to someone completely random that's at the party too. What a pair there. Cowboy. I don't know to describe this style as. Overheating girl. <laughs> Hence the vest that covers nothing. Maybe I put the arch in the wrong place. Could you all just get in your seats, please? We want to get married now. Beautiful. Who invited this kid? Getting the fuck out of here. It's ruining my special day. Well, there we go. I'm going to end it on a happy note for once. This doesn't usually happen. So I'm glad that this is happening. And there we go. The polite capping that I love to see. 
Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed playing it today. And I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.